Okay, so Pi News episode 84. And I usually use KDE Plasma for Pi News, but uh, I'm using Raspberry Pi OS for this because of the first story. So I'm thinking of a dark Christmas. So this story from the 6th of December talks about various bug fixes that have been happening in Raspberry Pi OS. And the new update has improved support for encrypted connections in Way VNC. And I did a video recently uh, with real VNC running in Raspberry Pi OS and it works really well. Various updates to Thony, Mathematica and Scratch 3 working on Raspberry Pi 5 now. And in the story, Eben wandered past my desk and he remarked, wouldn't it be nice if we had a dark theme? And so various different details about how this was created. But if you want to do it on your own Raspberry Pi, just right click anywhere on the desktop hit desktop preferences, go to system, and you can see there's a dark mode and it switches instantly now. And obviously there's lots of other customization you can do here as well. Things like your background, moving the taskbar to the bottom, which I always do. And I also make these bigger as well. So next up, let's talk about stock and availability. So from the 8th of December, it's now been a little over two months since we announced Raspberry Pi 5 and the time has flown by. The production ramp has been steeper than for any previous flagship product. We've been producing 70,000 units a week for the last few weeks and this rate is set to increase to 90,000 a week by the end of January. And there's various different things in the story. Uh, the reason they didn't add an M.2 connector, which would have required a lower power adapter, 3.3 volt, 3 amp power supply, instead of the 5 amp power supply that we ended up with. And there's already PCIe boards out there. I haven't got one, but Jeff Geeling's been testing them and they look very decent, really great speeds. Oh, today we're releasing the first revision of that specification on our own M.2. It's in the final stage of prototype and will be launched early next year. I hope they send me one of those to test. So speaking of stock, let's have a look at RPI locator. And as you can see, there's four locations that have got stock. My son's just come back from Amsterdam. He could have picked me up a Pi 5 4 gig. I also had a comment in November, here I can't even buy one, they're unobtainable, what's the point of making these videos if we can't share the love? So I asked, where are you? And the answer was Corning, New York. And I've been seeing that in America people have definitely been getting them in microcenter, so I figured I'll just go to your local microcenter. But it turns out in Google Maps that the local microcenter was four hours away, which I guess is probably not that bad in the size of America. And uh, they actually had them in stock. So it's definitely worth checking what retailers have got stock. I do see them pop up on various different things on Facebook uh, where retailers have stock for a short period of time. But obviously the, the numbers, they are being made in great numbers. So we should start to see much better availability in the near future. Next up was a story from 9 to 5 Linux. So Misa 23.3 Linux graphics stack brings NVK Vulkan driver Raspberry Pi support. And this is great news. The Mesa 3D project announced today the release and general availability of Mesa 23.3 as the latest version of this open source graphics stack. Highlights of the Mesa 23.3 include official support for Raspberry Pi 5 single board computers via the V3D OpenGL and V3DV Vulkan drivers. So this is great news. Um, it's not there yet, so if we open up a terminal and if I put in Vulkan Info Summary, you can see at the moment we're running 23 point two point one dash one uh, so we're a bit behind but uh, obviously expect to see that in an update sometime in the future i would definitely be retesting a lot of the emulation and this could be very good news for RetroPie and things like that as well and next up from tom's hardware 10 year old raspberry pi revision 0002 runs for six years without rebooting which is super impressive the Raspberry Pi is a staple board in the maker community and it's no wonder why. Maker and developer Karazi Pete recently shared a post showing off their 10 year old Raspberry Pi. It's been running consistently for the past 10 years. A few situations have required a restart, the last of which occurred back in 2017. And this Pi has been uh, monitoring temperature sensors placed throughout and around their house. Story from Hackaday now, resurrecting a bricked Wii U with a Raspberry Pi Pico. So the Pi Pico allows the injection of a payload that lets one run unsigned code on the Wii U. The Pico is ultimately used to boot off an SD card running a recovery program for the Wii U. By resetting the Wii U's cold boot title ID, it solves the error and gets the console booting properly as per normal. There are loads of stories about Pis doing this sort of thing to old consoles. It's, it's, uh, it's excellent that they're resurrecting them. And another Pico story, this Raspberry Pi Pico has been connected to a camera module and captures monochrome images. Uh, and it's always amazing about 
because the Pico is such a low power device. Here we go, shot on Raspberry Pi Pico. This ultra low power image sensor consumes less than two milliwatts of power. And if you want to try it yourself, the wiring diagram is here. And it's got instructions how you can see image data from your camera in your terminal. Yeah, very impressive. From Facebook now, a 3D printed case. So this is uh, to fit a Raspberry Pi 5 with the Argon 1 HDMI port attachment and a 90 degree USB-C connector on the back for power. So if you're looking to do something like that, have full size HDMIs on your Pi 5, I'll put a link in the description. And next up from Adafruit, Raspberry Pi hints at new products in 2024. So we've got an RP2040 successor and a Raspberry Pi Compute Module 5, which is definitely very interesting, coming in 2024. So it looks like more RAM coming to the Pico. Yeah, definitely look forward to that Compute Module 5. Okay, so hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.